the time has come to present to you my Notion page. I have been eagerly, excitedly waited to film this video to share it with you all. I just wanted an excuse to talk about Notion and because I want to share this, you know, awesome product with you all. So this video is in partnership with Notion. I've been using it for over two years now and I don't want to make this intro too long. It's free to use. You can use a link in my description box to sign up and all the cool templates I'm about to show you, I will put them in the description box as well so you can use them for yourself. And if you don't know what Notion is, it's a space online where you can organize and plan and coordinate and create lists and have your calendar and basically anything that you can imagine all in one space. You can have it on your desktop or on your app. Let's dive right in. I will explain more to you as we go through it. All right, so the first thing that I see when I enter my Notion page every single morning is the home page. And this home page, I change it depending on the season and depending on where I'm at in life. So right now I'm in this Harry Potter era. Well, I'm always in the Harry Potter era, but I'm feeling it more because it's winter times. So I have used this cover art. I have put this little, I solemnly swear that I'm up to no good right here. You can put whatever you want. And I have these here because these are the pages that I use the most and I will go through all of them later on. I have the weather because I always want to know the weather. I have the time. I have a quote because I need to be reminded not to waste time. And one thing that I like the most is the music that I've added because I always listen to music in the morning. I like listening to jazz, classic music. And so I just have these Spotify lists put here and they're ready to go whenever I wake up and I go to this homepage. And then I have my YouTube section, which is pretty basic, but I mean, I spend a ton of time in here. So ideas and scripts, which is exactly what it sounds like. It's ideas that I'm dumping, that I'm working on and that I have posted. And so in each of these, there is a little file or a page where I do my writing for the script. So let's say I would want to create a video called um, Notion Setup, which I mean I am. And then I click on it and then maybe I want to have a page and then I just start writing my script. Very easy. And then we have the podcast section, which is essentially identical to the YouTube section. But my podcast so far has been very unorganized, which I have loved. I just sit down with my mic, look around the room, think, what do I want to talk about this week? And then I just start talking and voila, there's an episode. But part of me wants to make it a bit more organized and kind of focused. So that's what I'm kind of trying to do here. And we'll see how that goes. And by the way, my podcast is on YouTube now in video format as well. So check that out. I will leave a link for that in the description box. I definitely think that the people who are more quote unquote lucky are the people who take more risks and who are okay with things not going the way that they have wanted or planned. Newsletter, just copied and pasted. Haven't done anything here because I did do a 10 week newsletter series and then I took a break and I'm about to get back on it for the new year, but I haven't yet, but that's where this ideas will be. Target list and target is just a different word for to-do list. I just like using target and I intentionally left this blank for this video because I want to show you some of the things that you can do. So let's say that you want to bathe your dog and you need to be reminded to do that tomorrow. So you just click here, remind tomorrow, 9 a.m. I use this function a lot because I tend to forget if I don't, and then I just get reminded, it's really awesome. And then let's say that you want to make a grocery list for the weekend, and you just do that, and you press new task, and then grocery list, and then you just write down the groceries that you want, apple, banana, pudding, and if you like using emojis, you can also use emojis. So chocolate bar because it's the weekend and I love chocolate. And then I like labeling this I get to because I just think wording is very important. So instead of being like I have to do this, 
I like naming it I get to, like I get to bathe my dog, which means I get to have a dog, which is freaking amazing and I'm so happy and grateful for that. And I get to get groceries for the weekend and make a list of it and you know what I mean? So I think the wording there is something that some people may not care about. I am a big word person, so for me it matters. And then I just dragged them around. So I get to, I'm currently doing, or I have done. And I do keep this relatively clean. I don't like it when it's cluttered. And so when it's in a done section, after a while, I just delete it. And that's all. Fred. I love this section obviously because I'm slightly obsessed with my puppy. So journal. I have not been using this a lot. I use it for four days and then I stopped. And then we have the weight. This is really cool. I like to keep track of his weight. Um, and so I have a timeline here, which I think is very useful. And it's just fun seeing the development. So this is his weight, totally exposing it. I hope it's okay, Fred. And then a timeline where I can see how his weight has changed in the form of, like I said, a timeline, which is just really cool. And then this section, which is rather new, which is where I can keep track of puppy care, basically. So brushing, training, bathing, and whatnot. And for you, it might not be puppy care. It might be, for example, for the new year, you may want to start meditating or doing yoga or eating healthy or learning a new language or whatever it might be. And so you can add whatever is fit for your life and <clears throat> your goals and your vision. And then you just click it off whenever you've done that. And that way you can keep track of how you're doing with whatever it is you have set up for yourself. And I think it's very convenient and it's just fun being like, oh yeah, I did that today. Click and then it turns blue. I like that. And now we have a section that I think I am, well, I have a top two in favorites and this is in the top two. It's the bookshelf. I love this page so much. Whenever I enter this page, I feel like I'm entering the library in Harry Potter and who doesn't want that? So it's basically a list of books that I've read, books that I want to read and it's pretty extensive because I like it that way. So first of all, there is the type of book. So it's very simple. I just stoner, oops, stoner, my favorite book, for example, I already have it. And then I add if it's a book or an article or a podcast or what it is. And then this is it's a book. Who was the author? It's John Williams. And then I add which year it came out, the genre, how many pages, if I read it or if it's to be read. Like down here, I have couldn't finish because I just couldn't finish that book. And then a Goodreads link because sometimes I like to get some more information about the book that I may have forgotten. And then I have the found section, which is basically how I found the book. Because sometimes, you know, I go through my list of books and I'm like, why did I want to read that? You know, where did I get that from? I have no idea. But when I have the found section, I'm like, oh, I found it on a Medium article or it was a subscriber who recommended it to me, which by the way, you guys recommend me a lot of books. I love it. Thank you. Please keep doing that. And the one thing that I think can be useful is you can filter it. So let's say that I want to find uh, books by a specific author. I go to author and then I want to find the books that I have by Brene Brown, let's say. And I see that there is one book here. Or if you want to find books based on genre, um, let's say, I think that can be pretty useful. And now this one, this next page is my favorite page. So, you know, a new year is approaching and I have been reflecting quite a lot about this year, like I always do really, to think about, you know, how did this year go? What did I focus on that was good? What did I focus on that was not very good? And how do I feel like I need to structure-ish next year to feel better and to be better and to do better, you know, as a person? 
And that's how this idea of self, a self-nurturing page came to life. I think this is going to be very useful for me for next year. And I'm going to share the template for this page specifically because I think many of you might find it to be helpful. So it's basically a page where every day I want to have the option and maybe the encouragement to spend some time with these six different different types of self-care which are emotional, practical, physical, mental and social. You can call it self-care, you can call it wellness, you can call it health, um, whatever you like. So for emotional we have journal, art, music, theater, and then practical, which is things like budgeting or taking a class or organizing your closet. Physical, which is, you know, walking, exercising, or taking care of your diet. Mental, which is reading, puzzle, museum, playing chess, and whatnot. Social, exactly what it sounds like, and spiritual, yoga, meditation, being in nature, and such things. And so this is not to put pressure on myself that I have to do these things, but it's to keep track of how I am taking care of myself, you know, to what extent. Projects, I'm not going to get into that page because I will when the time is right. And then quotes, and we have Socrates right here. You don't have to use, speaking of Socrates, you can use any photo that you want instead of emojis for every single page. Notion is highly customizable, highly customizable. You can totally turn it into whatever aesthetic vibe you know atmosphere that you want which is what i think makes it so special and so we have quotes here that i just collect i'm a quote collector i used to not be i used to not like quotes i thought they were silly useless cliche whatnot but i've completely changed my mind in the past few years i love collecting them i am thinking of organizing my quotes into different categories for whenever i need a quote within that category so you know relationships and i don't know health and maybe purpose and whatever categories that i feel i collect quotes within the most but i don't have that yet right now it's just a list of quotes and then to buy this page isn't super exciting but it's very useful you know instead of having lists of different things in different places i have everything in notion which is what makes it so great so like things that i want to buy i used to just put them in my notes app on my iphone but then i would have different lists and different things in different places and it would make me feel confused and i would lose things and so that's why I decided to have that in Notion as well. So obviously very simple, it's different categories. So I have friend, work, clothes, skin slash makeup, and for some reason, a duplicate of the makeup. And now let me show you how you can actually organize these in different ways. So right now I have a board view, but I could also have, for example, a table view, and then it would look like this instead. So again, it's Highly customizable, depends on what you want, what you prefer, and you can play around with it. I mean, I spend quite a bit of time in Notion switching things up and changing it because I think it's fun. It's like a playground. And then meeting notes, not super interesting, but again, super helpful. Instead of having notes here and there and there, losing them and being like, what did we talk about in that meeting? And what was I supposed to prepare? I don't remember because I can't find the notes. and. It's in one of those pages here, but which page was it? You know, it would all just become super messy and now it's just all here instead. And then random. Random is the one place where everything is a mess, where there is no organization, where there is no structure, where I can just write down anything and everything, highs and lows, important and irrelevant, just whatever, it's in random. So for obvious reasons, I'm not going to go through that because I don't even know what's in there. I don't know what to expect. So let's avoid that. And that was all. I really recommend that you check out Notion. Like I said, it's free. You can use the link in my description box and I will leave some templates that you can use for your page. And if I leave out a template that you would like to see, let me know and I will make sure to share that. 
And yeah, let's start off the new year on the right foot. I'm very excited to do that. And thank you again to Notion for sponsoring us today. And I will see you guys very soon. All right, bye.